Hey, what's going on guys? So I am down at Walmart again and went to the outdoor section and what do you know, at 15 bucks, they sell leftover stuff from Christmas, including the set with the awesome little neck knife, which very much is awesome. <laughs> I'm carrying it right now. So hopefully I don't think I stole it or anything, but I'm also kind of interested in this set. I don't know. Um, this looks really interesting. I did not see this online at all but these two in the middle look pretty promising i don't care about the flashlight or the multi-tool but that's interesting for 15 bucks let's see what else they have also this set i haven't seen before this one carefully not to knock anything down here this one looks pretty nice interesting hmm. okay what else do we have here it just popped over. Anything else interesting? A couple more of those other sets down there. What's going on here? I'm still looking for the Ozark trail knife, by the way. I have a friend who wanted one, but I'm not seeing it. What's over here? Let's look at this thing. Mm, eh. All right, let's see. Fish and stuff. What's going on with their regular knives? 60 bucks for a buck 110. 25.94 for the, the buck light, which I do like, but I think you can get those cheaper online. This is pretty uh pretty skint over here. There's not much going on with the knife scene. Camelus wedge, 13 bucks. That doesn't look half bad. Hmm. Yeah, not much. Not much at all. That stuff, there's still some stuff. This one actually is pretty empty compared to other Walmarts I've been to recently. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know why those are in the case over there. But no real specific interest. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, that's all. I just wanted to uh, give you guys the, the update. This one, by the way, is the Walmart in... Milford, Pennsylvania, or Matamoros, rather. I'm sorry, not Milford, it's past Milford. So the Matamoros, Pennsylvania Walmart. If you like anything you see, that's where you can find it. Anyway, okay, that didn't take very long. <laughs> I just shut the camera off. I came down here, a couple things I wanted to say. First off, I like that they have a ton of different uh, bags that have like, you know, carriers for, for water bladders and stuff. This one already has one in it. Like for 22 bucks, you want to do a little hike or something. That's pretty cool. Hydration pack. These are just really nice. I you didn't see these, you know, years ago. I don't know how long they've been at Walmart. Maybe you guys can let me know if you bought one of these. But they got some tactical looking bags here and there. Just kind of cool. Uh, here's another water bladder. This one's only 20 bucks. Ozark Trail. Yeah, I mean, you could totally get down with that. Doing a little hike or something. Or if you're camping, just want to have uh, water at the ready. I grabbed one of these folding shovels for four bucks. I'm gonna pick this up for uh, when I go treasure hunting uh, in the future. Uh, next time I do any kind of uh, metal detecting, that, that'll come in handy. A little shovel. I was looking at some different gear here. This is what I wanted to uh, to mention was this Ozark Trail multi tool. So this is ten dollars and seventy four cents. I do not have this one personally. I want to say I have a similar one that I did a video on a while back that has stainless handles. This has some black handles. But for $10, this doesn't look all that bad. If, as long as the blade is actually sharpened, you know, out of the uh, the package here. I'm not going to buy this one. I'm, I'm curious. I don't want to spend $10. Bucks. I'm, money's tight. Christmas is over. <laughs> it's time to uh, pay the bills and stuff. But I am curious about this one. If you happen to have this one, please post in the comments what you think of it. But honestly, it's right out of the gate here. I think for 10 bucks, it's probably going to be fine for a lot of the different chores. You know, the screwdriver might not be precision cut, but like, you know, the flathead screwdriver, the can opener, the saw, that kind of stuff is going to work fine. It's just a matter of, you know, whether the uh, the main blade uh, stays sharp or the quality of it, you know. But uh, yeah, I was looking over here, some machetes. This one's not bad, you guys. If you didn't see, I did a video on this one before, but there's also the Harbor Freight um, machete for five bucks as well. I don't see anything else, I don't think. Specifically, here's a Ozark Trail combo. 
I definitely wouldn't get anything partially serrated from Ozark Trail. It's bad enough with their, their lower grade steel for the blades. But I like the Zephyro rod in there. I don't know, this is randomly placed on the shelf here, so I don't know what that costs. Ozark Trail, Ozark Trail, Ozark Trail. There's a folding saw. Here's another multi-tool. This one's only six bucks. 587 for this guy. So, yeah. I mean, this one is probably, looking at the blade, the blade's fully serrated. Not a fan of that at all. All right, so there's the, the tools in here. Oh, no. They're saying that's a saw. <laughs> there's a plain edge blade. The one I see in there is not a saw. I don't know. You see that in there? That's a regular, like, clip point blade, or drop point, rather, fully serrated. So there's two blades. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, you know, for these prices, sometimes I know a lot of guys will just buy them just out of curiosity, even if it's a total piece of junk. But for six bucks, I mean, you know, if you're looking for a multi-tool, for $16, I'd just get both. See which one you like more. Give the other one to someone else so you know. Know what I'm saying? What else we got going on here? Yeah, some cook set. Again, you know, if you're on a budget book bushcraft journey, a lot of this stuff's fine. It works fine. Oh, that's cool. I've seen this brand before. You go. I actually think I got this in a, a box. A little double-sided spoon and spork there. Ah, this is what I wanted to look at. The Zippo stuff. Actually, it's it's pretty bare. Their lighter fluid, their four ounce for two bucks is a deal, and it's sold out here. How about that? But their hand warmers work very well. Here's a black one. 17 bucks. Winner is here. These things actually do work very well. All right. I think I have a video from years and years and years ago. Uh, if I don't, maybe I'll do another video in the future. Here's some regular black ones for 16 bucks as well. All right. Just a standard matte black. Works very well. You guys know I love my Zippo lighters. But yeah, that fuel seems to be uh, sold out here. Sometimes you can find that by the registers. That, I think, is it again. So I'm going to go look at the fishing stuff. Although, I may not buy anything today. But, yeah, I guess that's it for now. All right. All right, I'm back here again. I didn't, I didn't uh, see this one before. So for 15 bucks, this is like a super budget EDC. Now that flashlight on top is total junk. I wouldn't even bother with that. But the folder, you know, for five bucks-ish, it probably works okay. I mean, it has a little strap cutter, which is gimmicky. It has the glass breaker, which may or may not work. Um, the little utility blade holder, though, that's kind of cool. There's so many of them out there. I mean, you could pay five bucks for something like that. You could pay $50 for something like that, or $100, depending on who's making it. <clears throat> but it comes with spare blades and everything. The multi-tool, super cheap, though. Like those other two multi-tools I was showing you, like a ton, a ton better than, than something like this. This is the run-of-the-mill $5, you know, Chinese multi-tools. You want to stay away from those multi-tools. But the, the, the folder and then the utility blade holder is what I would get this for if I was interested. But today I'm not. So anyway, that's all. All right, I'm really, really done this time. I am going. All right, I got to stop saying I'm leaving because I keep turning this thing on. So now we're looking at the hyper tough stuff, which is like Walmart's uh, tool brand, $24.88. I noticed this set here, which looks interesting. I, I just really like these little mini guys here. So you get two large and two small utility blade holders. And it looks like it's the same blade, same size anyway, so it's not like specialty blades. But then also this set. So now we have a hyper tough branded multi-tool a utility knife or utility blade holder and a bottle opener, which most people probably don't need by the way. But I thought that was fascinating. So it was worth, worth showing here. So let's see. That is, uh, that's pretty much it for now. All right, back for the final time. This was on the shelf. There was no peg for it. I looked at the barcode and everything, could not find a price at all. Just rang it up, it rang up five bucks. So I'm sold on it. I'll put these with the other utility blades for testing. So this is what I'm actually buying here today. Oh, of course, with other stuff. Anyway, <laughs> that's all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.